There's been a lot of action in the hydrogen space in the past year. Would you say the momentum has built to a level where the H2 economy is really in development now? I think it's, it, it, it has got all of the ingredients of being a really tasty cake, but not all these ingredients are put, put together yet. And you can see, you know, pieces of policy that are really going to be interested in kickstarting the economy being in place, but not quite implemented. You can see, you know, the supply chain trying to really ramp up the uh, ability to make, you know, clean and affordable hydrogen but not quite there yet with all of the challenges we see around us around um, you know, inflation. Um, so I think the momentum is there. I think all of the, uh, the energy crises uh, that are evolving around us are actually driving more momentum because I think there's a more balanced debate now in what we call in Shell sometimes the trilemma. So not just looking at the um, energy affordability and energy security, uh, and um, you know the environmental impacts in isolation, but actually looking at that as a holistic problem, that all three things have to be solved uh, at once. So I think we see a lot of momentum behind hydrogen. When I came into the role, there really was only one country in the world, that was Japan, that had a declared hydrogen strategy. Now there are 57 countries that all um, you know have a clear outline of what role they believe hydrogen will play. So. It's definitely building, but I would say we're not quite there yet that the cake is oven ready.